so in this video we will see how to compress the size of an image without losing its quality so images play an important and significant role in communication and expression across a wide range of platforms from social media to websites however high quality images can consume a considerable amount of storage and it will result in slower website loading times so by reducing the size of an image you can ensure faster loading times and more storage space so in this video we will look into the process of compressing image using python and pillow so it is very useful and important library in python that enables the opening manipulation and saving of various image file formats so by using this library we can easily compress our images and see the benefits of faster loading times and reduce storage space so first of all we need to install the pillow library for that you can use pip so open your command prompt and type the following command so open your command prompt and type this so just type pip install pillow so wait for a few seconds it will take some time to install so as you can see it says requirement already satisfied so when the installation is complete just close this command prompt so so after the installation is complete, we need to import the necessary libraries into our Python program. So for that, just type the following commands. So from below, we are going to import the image class. And we are also going to import the OS library. So now after importing the necessary libraries, let's load the image we want to compress. For this, we use the image.open method from the pillow library so image equal to we use the image class and its open method inside it just pass the location of the image and its name in this case both my image and python file are located in the same folder that is this desktop so i just pass the name of this image here so the name of this image is 2.png so let me verify that yes it is 2.png so this code opens the image name to that png and assign it to a variable called image so after we load the image we need to resize it to reduce its file size so before that we just need to get the height and width of this image so for that we use the image dot size so this size attribute will return the width and height of the original image that is this image here So we will define some new size here. So new size equal to inside the tuple, we are going to resize the image to half of its original size. So floor division by 2 and height. We will also do the same for the height one. So, so in this case, we reduce the image size to half. You can change the size of the image as per your requirements. So in this case, we reduce the image to one half. So to resize the image, we use the resize library from the pillow. So resized image equal to image dot resize. So in this case, just pass the new size variable here. So after we resize the image, just save the image. To do this, we use the save method from the image library. So resize image dot save. So just give a name for your compress image. In this case to underscore compress dot jpg so let's save this file and run now as you can see we got a new file here so let us verify the compress image so just come to our python file so we need to verify whether the compress image has been saved correctly or not so for that we can compare the file size of the original image and the compress image So original image equal to So we use the OS library here so OS dot path dot get size So just pass the original image name here so 2 dot png So after that we use we do the same for the compress image also So OS dot path dot get size and pass the compress image file name to dot compress dot png. So let's print original image size 
So, original image. So let's also print the compress image. So compress image size is equal to compress image. So this two line will print the file size of the original image and the compress image. So let's save this and run now. As you can see, you can verify that the compress image is smaller than the original image. Note that the actual file size will depend on the input image used for the code. This is just an example. So to conclude that we walk through a step by step guide on how to compress an image using the pillow library in Python. So we will learn how to resize the image and save it in a compressed format along with some best practices to ensure optimal results. So by following these steps outlined in this video, you can easily compress your images and optimize them for web use. You can adjust the quality and size of the compressed image to strike the right balance between image quality and file size. So this is for this video and I will meet you in the next one.